Hey guys, I hope you're all having a really good day. Welcome back to another edition of Bedroom Chats with Claire. We'll go with that for now. As you probably guessed, it is raining again here in the UK. It has just slowed down a little bit, so I've just been out for a really nice walk in nature. But I was thinking about it and, you know what, as much as we don't generally like the rain, it is a great excuse to kind of take a step back from life and have a bit of time out for ourselves, which is exactly what I've been doing today. I spent some time meditating this morning and just going out on a really nice walk and just slowing everything down a little bit. Today is going to be a little bit of a spirituality chat, which I know is a big step away from the cakes, but it's something that I'm really into, so I enjoy sharing my thoughts. I'm going to talk specifically about the law of attraction and the importance of timing and having patience. Now this is something that I've certainly found very difficult when manifesting things, situations, experiences into my life. I would say at least the past year has been a bit of a struggle. Like overall I'm happy. I have an amazing life but behind the smile there's still a lot of fear, of doubt, of insecurity and I often find that I'm plagued with feelings of failure, of lack, of unworthiness and loneliness as well. Now these are all things that I'm working through and the important thing is I'm aware of them and awareness itself is the first step really because we can't really move forward in life until we first accept where we are. Despite all these feelings I still have a strong belief that everything is perfect as it is and everything is working out in the best way possible for me to get to my true desires and that I can't really go wrong in life. It's just about putting one foot in front of the other and following my joy, following what feels good. But it can be very tough at times. It can be quite challenging. Almost like there are a lot of tests and I feel like I've been tested a lot over the past year, like, I don't know, an opportunity will come my way and then it will fall through or somebody will come into my life who I really connect with and then they'll disappear or I'll have some amazing experience but then like something negative comes afterwards and this can be really disheartening and I almost feel like I'm going backwards but then at the same time I know that this is part of the process this is just a test but when you're in it you I know it's it's hard to actually see that until you come out the other side of it I say over the past year I feel like I've been tested to be honest it's more like my whole life but hey I mean maybe that's kind of what life is about it is just kind of a big game and that's what we're here for, we're here to develop, we're here to evolve to the next stage and I do kind of believe that we need to go through these things in order to experience some of the greater things that are meant for us. That being said, we weren't brought here to suffer or struggle or feel pain because what we are underneath all this, the physical form, is unconditional love and that's all there ever is and that's all there will ever be. So if we're not feeling that unconditional love then something must be out of alignment. For me, right now, in my life, I kind of feel like I'm in a bit of a transition stage. One chapter's ended, I don't know entirely what that chapter is but it's like I'm ready for the next thing. My business is going well but I know that I want more, like it's not enough for me. I'm ready to do something different, maybe not entirely different but I want a new 
challenge. I have so many ideas and different things that I want to achieve. It can be quite overwhelming and I almost don't really know where to start. And to be honest, I feel like I've been stuck in this place for a while and that's what it's like. It's a feeling of being stuck, like nothing's really happening, nothing's really changing. I don't feel like I'm moving forward, even though deep down I know that's not actually true because it's not really possible to be stuck in life. We're always moving forward, even when it feels like we're not. And over the past five years, I've changed a lot because of the work that I've done on myself, because of my spiritual development. And now that I understand how the world really works, I'm looking out from a whole new perspective. Like, I'm still the same person inside, but I guess what I want has changed, not only in terms of my career aspirations, but also in terms of my personal life. I think part of the problem for me is that I'm not entirely sure what I want, so without knowing that it's difficult to actually move forward towards that when you don't really know where you're going. I have this really strong belief that something incredible is literally waiting around the corner for me, <laughs> but the thing is I've had this feeling for quite a while now and the more that time goes on, the more that the doubts start to kick in and I start questioning myself, I start questioning that feeling and I'm almost looking at myself and thinking, oh my gosh, am I just completely deluded here? But that is where the importance of patience and timing really comes in. And I'm sure there will be many other people out there who can resonate with me, I hope. It's like a feeling of when is it going to happen for me? Now don't underestimate the importance of taking action. It's important to take action, but take inspired action. And I'll talk about taking inspired action in another video. But I am doing that. I am taking action every day, just small steps. I'm learning to tune into my intuition again. I am following the feeling, but still like, it hasn't happened, but there probably are things happening almost behind the scenes that I'm maybe not even aware of that are leading me towards the next thing. And I'm not even sure what this thing is. I just know that I am on the edge of something amazing. There's a big part of me that doesn't even want to talk about this because in my mind I'm like, well, what if this doesn't happen? Then I'm gonna look really stupid because I've just talked about it on a video. Um, and these are the kind of thoughts that I'm played with and I know that those kind of thoughts are gonna hold me back and they're gonna slow me down from moving towards this thing, whatever it might be. So I think that's an important thing to be aware of. We do need to slow things down, pay attention to our thoughts and, you know, notice if we have any beliefs because these are the kind of things that are going to hold us back from getting the things that we want in life. The deep truth is that everything we could ever want is right here, right now, like it's literally right in front of us because time isn't linear, everything exists simultaneously. Simultaneously? I can't say these big words. Everything exists at the same time, so really it's just about stepping into that reality. So if we look at it from that perspective, timing and patience are kind of irrelevant because everything we could ever want, we already have. However, if we're not in vibrational alignment with that thing or those things, they can't actually come into our physical reality. So in conclusion, I feel like I'm finally getting somewhere here now. If we start to pay a little bit more attention to our thoughts, our beliefs, our behaviours, and remember, awareness is the first step, we can then see whether they are pulling us closer towards things that we 
want or things that we don't want and if we find that we are attracting a lot of things into our life that we don't necessarily want and the things that we do want aren't coming quick enough then we maybe need to have a look at our thoughts, beliefs, behaviours and see how we can change them in order to attract the stuff that we do want and bring it forth into our physical reality. I really hope all this is making sense. I find it so hard to articulate my thoughts into words, whether written or spoken. I have a lot of mental blocks. Like it all makes sense in my head, but it doesn't always come out in the right way. At the same time, this is stuff that I really want to talk about because I know it will help so many people out there and I feel like I'm finally at a point in my life where I'm beginning to overcome these blocks and things are starting to flow again. Thank you so so much for taking the time to watch this video and listen to me, it really means a lot. If you did like what I had to say please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel that would mean the world to me and of course if you have any questions or maybe stories you want to share with me please do pop them in the comments below or drop me a private message over on instagram i'm happy to chat and help in any way that i can i'm sure i'll be back very soon with something a little bit more light-hearted probably but do expect a lot more chats like this from me in the future because I love talking about the deeper stuff in life. I'll see you next time guys, bye!